What is happening, PGA DFS fans? A happy Tuesday to you all. Very busy day here in the PGA DFS world as we gear up for the Genesis Invitational and the season's biggest PGA DFS prizes are on the line this week, or at least up to this point. $300,000 to first over on DraftKings for the smaller buy-in, a million dollar first place for a bigger buy-in over there. And we've got some of the biggest contests outside of DraftKings as well. As Yahoo, the sponsor of our short form video here, which is the top five values for the Genesis Invitational, is offering $5,000 to first place. So go on and check them out. I'll tell you guys about a deal we have going on with them in just a little bit. I want to also let you guys know to make sure you like and subscribe to this channel here, the Osmo YouTube channel, because you get notified when these videos come live, when our live shows come back on playback, and so much more. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Hit that button right up there. And of course, if you agree with some of these value picks or even disagree, it could happen, especially this week with some big names and some value spots. Leave it in the comment box below and I will circle back before the end of the week. All right, let's jump right in here. Like I said, we have some massive names. Could be traps. Could be the best values of the week. We're going to talk about them. But first, we're going to talk about Aaron Rye. I always love to take a look at the Osmo DFS projections. Part of our premium package here at Osmo Plus, which you can get a free month. Just hang on a bit. I'll tell you about that in a second. First, let's talk about Aaron Rye, who rates as the best value on the board this week. Coming in at just $6,400 on DraftKings, just $20 on Yahoo, which is the minimum price. He's had a pretty good season, has Aaron Rye. Although he missed the cut a couple of weeks ago at Pebble Beach, he started that tournament off. Eagle, birdie, eagle was 400 through three holes. That would be eagle, birdie, birdie, I should say. It was birdie, eagle, birdie. Sorry, I apologize. Uh, that's what it is there. Anyways, he's had a really good season. Had a really nice start there at the Farmer's Insurance, which has a kind of a similar feel. Now, granted, it's down in San Diego. It's Torrey Pines. We're up in Riviera, a private country club here. But certainly has a similar feel. An emphasis on ball striking to play well here and the best field in golf up to this point. So uh, Farmer's Insurance a couple weeks ago was that as well. So let's take a look at Aaron Rye. How he's got it done this season. He's ranked 32nd and 38th in his ball striking stats for this stro uh, strokes gain season 2022. Uh, 32nd on the off the tee and 38 on the approach. However, if those two stats are not working well for him, well, he does struggle on and around the greens, especially with all the greens he's going to miss this week. It's where I get a little tentative, but the price certainly draws me back in. He's ranked 158th around the green and 150th putting. All right, now let's move on to three huge names that are all their cheapest salary I've seen in maybe over a year since the Masters maybe of last year. Let's first talk about Corey Connors. Now, Corey Connors has missed the cut in each of the last two years here, which is odd for a tournament that certainly rewards the best ball strikers in the world. Corey Connors is one of those, but still hasn't figured out Riviera. Coming in at $7,300 on DraftKings, though, he will surely turn many eyes. Coming in at $31 on Yahoo this week, maybe a little bit more expensive over there. His recent form, well, he came in 38th last week, making the cut and then playing decent over the weekend. Uh, did not play out in Pell or go to Saudi. So thank you for that. Go Corey Connors. Let's take a look at his strokes gain rank from last year. He hasn't played enough events this year to garner what I would consider quality numbers yet. So let's take a look at strokes gain off the tee. Ranked eighth last year. Strokes gain on the approach ranked ninth. One of the only golfers in the entire PGA Tour to have a top 10 ranking in both of those. His around the green work, not so great. Ranked 157. But putter. His putter performed pretty well last year for him. Ranked 112. All right, the next guy, the third value on the board, Patrick Reed. He's coming in at 7400 on DraftKings this week. Again, a little bit more expensive on Yahoo, coming in at $35. Of course, history here didn't play here last year and came in 51st the year before that, so certainly nothing to write home about. Did not play last week at the Waste Management. Did make the trip out to Saudi Arabia. No surprise there. He came in 38th in that event. Now, when we look at his strokes gain rank, Pretty much has the opposite profile of what we're looking for here. He's eighth around the green last year and fourth in strokes gained putting. Again, one of the only golfers to have that category or that uh, skill set, I should say. Finishing in the top 10 in both strokes gained categories. On the approach, ranked 43rd and off the tee last year, ranked 114th. However, this year is trending much worse than 114th. He switched to the PX3 driver 
and it just it hasn't been good the whole year so interesting debate here with patrick reed this week certainly seen as good value but maybe the form isn't matching now maybe the most interesting one of them all is paul casey he's coming in at 7600 this week and has not made a start on the pga tour yet this season obviously didn't win last year so he didn't make the trip out to maui didn't make the trip to oahu no uh none of the california events and not the waste management either however he did play in saudi arabia and came in 24th in that event so it looks like form shouldn't be that far out just 7600 dollars on DraftKings this week a little more expensive on yahoo coming in at 36 but still it'll be a great debate came in 37th here a couple of years ago will certainly be a big debate on what to do with paul casey this week as we take a look at his strokes gain rank 43rd off the tee last year, second on the approach, 68th around the green. So he's even good around the green when he misses it. But when he gets on the green, not so much. He ranked 124th last year. All right, last guy, last value I want to talk about. And I will be the first to admit, I did not play him last week. He almost crushed me. But a terrible Sunday that was aided by an early double bogey pushed him all the way down to 26th in the event, starting the day in the top five. That's Taylor Gooch, guy that has certainly broken out this year, already a winner once before, and is priced at just $8,000 this week on DraftKings, $39 on Yahoo. He's got back-to-back -back top 12 finishes here, and that's before he, I would say, broke out and kind of morphed into the player he has become. 26 last week, I already mentioned, didn't play in Saudi Arabia or Pebble. We take a look at his strokes, gain rank, and how he gets it done. Maybe he's a little poor off the deep, 132nd. But all his other stats are pretty good. 35th on the approach, 53rd around the green, and 80th putting. All right, those are the top five values for the Genesis Invitational. But before we go, I want to tell you guys about the awesome deal we've got over here at Yahoo. So we've partnered with them this year. And they've been offering some great PGA DFS contests. I already mentioned a $5,000 to first place coming this week. And we are going to be able to give you a free month of Osmo Plus Platinum. If you go over to Yahoo right now, sign up and make your first deposit and enter to play into your first paid contest. When you get that, what happens is Yahoo is going to send over your email to us. And we're going to hook you up with your first month of Osmo Plus Platinum for free, 100% free. That's right. We got NASCAR starting off. Golf is just getting into the swing of things. NBA is in full swing and MLB. Oh, we hope MLB will be back. So a great time to become an Osmo Plus member and also get all of those projections and ownerships and so much more. So all you got to do again, Yahoo, go sign up, deposit, play in your first paid contest, and we will get you set up. Now, if you need immediate access and you don't want to wait for Yahoo to send us your email, all you got to do is send an email to support at Osmo.com and we will get you all squared away. So let's go five to one again in case you forgot. Aaron Rye, Corey Connors, Patrick Reed, Paul Casey, Taylor Gooch. Those are your top five values for the Genesis Invitation. Now, check out, make sure you guys check out the live show. This is Tuesday today, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with Ben Raz and I, the PGA DFS Strategy Show. If you can't make that live, make sure to watch it on pre -back, uh, playback, excuse me, or... Join Eric Lindquist and Ben Raza on the Live Before Lock Show tomorrow night. So until then, everybody, good luck, and we will see you on the other side. Cheers.